It all comes together. And sometimes it doesn't matter if you're using a big stitch or a small stitch or if it's a wide seam or a small seam. The whole idea is that you're trying to create something. So you might, if you mess up, that's okay. Because who's going to really notice that unless you tell them? This year we decided to ask the sisters if they would want to have an exhibit here and they were really excited about it and they're just a wonderful bunch of women. They're, they're hysterical and friendly. When I was walking around the museum with a friend, I noticed a piece that looked f particularly familiar to me, so I went back to find out more information and I was able to see that it was the Sisters of the Cloth exhibit. And looking at the picture of the Sisters of the Cloth, I noticed a lot of women of my church and just a bunch of women that I recognized and it gave me a really warm and overwhelming feeling because it was at that point that I came to the realization that the quilt that I recognized, the quilt that was so familiar to me was a quilt that I actually helped contribute to. It was the most amazing feeling. I think that the Sisters of the Cloth, um, through their membership, really embody that idea of people coming together because they have a wide range of ages um, within their group and they actively work with children in some of the community centers in Fort Wayne to you know, enable a new generation of quilters. In fact, their club motto is each one teach one and I think that that's just lovely. To have them on display for others to see that maybe didn't think of quilting as something um, that was a way of cultural expression as well as creative expression is very important and something that I'm so glad that the Mathers Museum is working to do.